All right, what is going on, people of Earth? My name is Chili Dilly, back at you with another chill-ass video, man. And I wanted to have a discussion with you guys today. I wanted to talk about something that I think is honestly just kind of worth talking about, and that is, what is THCA compared to Delta 9, right? Or regular flour, something you'd get in the dispensary. For anybody who already knows what THCA is, you already know the answer to this. But honestly, once again, I'm just amazed that THCA hasn't blown up as much as I think it should necessarily. Now, obviously, I don't control that even if I do post a bunch of videos, but I do want to get people educated and I really just want people to know, you know, that I constantly get hundreds of comments of, of how can I get some fucking weed? How can I get high if I live in an illegal state? Well, this is literally what you want. I've said this a million times, but I'm going to compare the two today. And of course we couldn't do it without an awesome sponsor. And this is something that I'm really, really happy to introduce. You guys know Exhale, and this is their new THCA flower line. I'm really, really impressed that they um, are making this. I didn't know if they really were. It took a little bit, but they are now making their own THCA flower. And <clears throat> you guys know XL. They're literally just like the golden standard of the hemp space, really. The biggest creators have worked with them. I've worked with them for a long time. Their testing is amazing. Everything you want and need in a company, good pricing, fair pricing, all that good shit. Just right here with XL. And of course, to be able to compare these, I do have a joint right here, and this is some of XL's THCA flower. I have not tried it, so cheers. What I am smoking is a Han Solo, Han Solo I do believe, and it is an indica. So for those of you that do not know, THCA is already regular flour. It is what you would get in a dispensary, but it is non-psychoactive before it is combusted. So in just flour form, there's really no psychoactive properties, no real THC, honestly. The moment you combust it, like we just did with the lighter, that is when it becomes regular THC. Um, it's best in joints, bowls, stuff like that. So that's just how it is able to be sold the way that it is. But this is regular THC. Anybody that smokes THC would tell you this. I know this. I live in an illegal state, and to be able to try this, um, I can tell you because I know I, I smoke regular flour every day, and this is the same. If I would say anything different, honestly, is that this just feels maybe a little bit percentage lower than what you're probably used to. But I can still smoke half a joint, which is what I would do with regular flour, and I will be just as baked. Now, with HHC or Delta A flour, I don't feel the same way. I usually have to smoke an abundance of Delta A flour to feel anything, and then I usually have to to smoke a whole HHC joint to kind of feel baked. No, THCA, you're smoking a half or a whole, it's up to you really. I'm sure there's a scientific difference and I'll add it probably in some text or something, but if not, I mean, I don't really think there is a scientific difference at all other than the whole combustion thing. I don't think there's a chain difference at all. I know that it affects your CB1 and 2 receptors the same way that regular THC does. Which yes, most others do, but this one especially affects it and is way more psychoactive than the other variants, honestly. But apparently if you also let the flower sit for a period of time as well, it can also raise the THC percentage as well. I don't know how accurate that is, but I want to explain to you guys how it feels, right? So how can I explain the two differently? Well, I really can't. I've always said this, but it always feels the same to me. It feels exactly like Delta 9. It feels like regular flower, like flower I'd get in a dispensary, man. Honestly, the fact that people don't jump to this more really surprises me. I feel the same psychoactive Delta 9 high that I do from even just smoking regular flour. I would say, if anything, it's a little bit less. But obviously, the biggest difference between these two is the legal factor is that regular Delta 9 you can't even get in... Well, there's a good amount of states you can get it now, but for those people that still live in an illegal state and that they, you're just really wanting something else, you're wanting something stronger than what you're getting at gas stations with Delta 8 and shit, then THCA is definitely the way. But I know that there aren't a lot of vapes out there, if really many at all. I know Bionoid might have one. So it's mostly all just in flower form. And that can also be kind of a problem because uh, I know some people can't just smoke flour, you know? That's really what it comes down to is like comfortability or, you know, accessibility and just, uh, I don't know what other word I'm looking for here, but like just convenience pretty much. Um, is smoking flour acceptable where you live? If not, then yeah, maybe THC isn't for you and you are gonna have to get a Delta 8 vape or a Delta or a HHC vape or something of that sort. Like we've already smoked half of this and I'm already fucking baked, man. That's the beauty of THCA. I definitely didn't know how exhales would be, but this is a very, very good taste to it. It has like a sour taste to it with the cushy taste, of course. It's another kind of difference I've noticed as well between the two is that, and it's really hard for me to say because I live in an illegal state, so getting, you know, uh, dispensary level, I just, but I don't get that. So, you know, it's good, but it's not, I don't know, like sometimes I can tell the difference in taste and stuff like that, but usually with other hemp variations, I can taste 
like, I don't know. I don't know what it is. I don't know how to explain it, but with THCA, I'm usually able to taste that strain. And sometimes I've, I've been able to try so many different strains now that I've definitely been able to try or taste and tell different things apart from each other. And I can say that like with regular flour, and I don't know how it is in legal states where, you know, you have dispensaries and I'm sure some of it has some good taste. Usually the only time that I can taste it is when I'm usually, usually doing, um, like pens or um, concentrates, obviously, because I think concentrates have a very heavy taste. With flour, sometimes it's hard to tell because the smoke construes it a little bit, and especially if you're smoking, like, I don't know, bro. And I think sometimes, like, certain things go with it. I, I, I don't know how to explain it, but I definitely think there can be a difference in taste in illegal flour that you're buying in, like, black market states or bla just black market flour, pretty much. And uh, I think there's definitely a difference between buying, you know, online legally that you can get, and it's all legal. So really, to just recap real quick, there is no difference really the only difference is that once you combust this this turns into regular flour uh before it it does not so that is the only difference um this shit is great and it is legal to, i don't think it's legal everywhere but i'm pretty sure it's legal in most places to be honest um but it's definitely one of the best um inventions out there in a while or just new strain or not new strain just new variations in a very long time um, I think a lot of people miss out on this, honestly. I don't think it's talked about as much. I don't necessarily know why. I think that um, a lot of the stuff on YouTube, though, is a lot of pens and shit. Seems like a lot of people like that stuff more, like maybe crazy edible challenges or crazy amounts of weed challenge, but I think that this is very, very cool. I think that this could help a lot of people that live in illegal states. Um, I'm all for it, man. Uh, but shout out to XL. I'm just gonna go ahead and put this out. Uh, shout out to XL, because I'm fucking stoked. Believe it or not, I'm actually pretty fucking stoked. But shout out to XO. Um, make sure you guys come to the YouTube streams and check out the Instagram. Fucking love you guys.